St Andrews has always been tied to the sea. In the 19th century, the bay was frequented by vessels of all sizes heading for the international ports of Dundee and Edinburgh. Today, the bay and harbour are used by pleasure cruisers and fishing boats. But remnants of this earlier age survive. Living in a maritime era brought many dangers. Shipwrecks brought the communities together in support of the lifeboat men who risked their lives to rescue the crews of ships in trouble. was a key institution in the town. It was run and manned by locals, uh, particularly fishermen, and it was a rowboat, so it was local fishermen who knew the area and knew the rock and where everything was that, that manned the lifeboat itself. Here at the St Andrews Sailing Club, the memory of the lifeboats and their crews live on. The clubhouse was once the lifeboat station and houses records of the lives saved during its 72-year tenure. Nine of these lives belong to the crew of the Swedish merchant ship Princess Wilhelmina, dramatically rescued in 1912 by a crew of local fishermen in front of a crowd of townsfolk. The lifeboat united the community. The last St Andrews lifeboat, the John and Sarah Hatfield, was sold in 1938 when the lifeboat station was shut down. The whole town turned out to say goodbye. And the last crew were hailed as local heroes. While the era of merchant ships and daring rescues has passed, St Andrews remains a maritime community. The lifeboats and their crews live on in popular memory. And in the continuing links between the town and the Great North Sea.